Now, give me dominion over your body. Are you serious? Damn, that was easy. You're a real pushover. I'm glad you understand who wears the pants around here. All right, then, let's get down to business. Here's your eviction notice. We only knew each other a little while, but we had a real connection. I'll never forget you. See ya, sucker. Bye-bye. Uh-huh. What? What the hell? Why can't I get rid of you? Damn it. You must have some sort of ridiculous attachment to this world. Your mouth said okay, but your soul refuses to leave. God, this is so stupid. Now I have to do things the right way. Okay, doofus, listen up. This is gonna be a pain in the ass for both of us. But we have to make a deal so I can use your body. Now that you've signed over your body, you can command power totally unknown to the average peon. That should keep you happy for a while. But maybe you're really greedy. Maybe you'll need even more power. That's when you give me a call. I can lend you all the powers of a god. For a price. The more of my power you use, the more control I gain over your body. You use your power to get what you want. And I come a little closer to my own goals. You scratch my back, I crush yours. Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> Fine, if you say so. But if you change your mind, you know where to find me. I'll be waiting, my little soulmate. Hey, you're awake. Are you okay? Tell me, how do you feel? It appears you and Gig have become one. It was he who nearly destroyed our land. He was the leader of the World Eaters. Or rather, they were his puppets. His powers are unfathomable. We have been searching many years for someone who could contain the power of Gig. Of all the children to pass through this village, you were the only one. I have waited ten long years for your mind and body to mature. You were told this village was meant to hide us from the world. But no, it's our last defense against the World Eaters. In years past, villages like ours existed all over the world. But over the years, they have all been destroyed one by one. We are the only ones left. This is why we have no outside contact, and why you were forbidden from leaving the village. That's correct. All the villages were either sieged and killed slowly, or outright annihilated. Considering the scale of these attacks, it must be the work of the World Eaters. Yes, those dark beasts who have been silent for so long now gather their strength once more. Have you not heard the weeping of the world? Open your mind and listen closely. You will hear the crumbling of our civilization. If things continue as they are, the land will continue to weaken, and eventually all will perish. To change the fate unfolding before us, we need a truly singular power. This is the power of Gig that I have entrusted to you. With it, you must rein in the terrible World Eaters. It's up to you to dismantle these foul relics of a long dead world and breathe new life into our own land. Do you understand what I ask of you? Now, we will go and inform the others of what must be done. And that's our situation now. Finally, the day we have prayed for has come. Gig's power has been released. This could not have happened without your years of loyalty. And now we... Lady Lena! I'm... I'm not happy about this. Danette. Why did you keep this a secret from us? It seems like everyone besides us already knew about this. That's just mean, and that sword. Why couldn't I have that power? I'm 
way more ruthless and devoted. And you can trust me better than anyone to protect this village. I mean, I... Because I'm dumb, isn't it? I'm just too damn stupid for you to trust me. Now, come on, Danette. You know that's not true. Don't go saying such awful things about yourself. We were all in the same boat as you once. I was never told anything until my 17th birthday either. But Lady Lena sees something in this child that's different from the rest of us. You shouldn't say such hurtful things in Lady Lena's presence. Remember your place, child. Yes, sir. I am truly sorry for lying, Danette. But you must understand, I never wanted to deceive you like this. I know that. I mean... I guess. It's not that I don't trust you. I know that, child. Now, everyone, heed me. From now on, we must do more than merely guard our solitary village. We must remember the faces of the fallen and help this brave child stand against the tyranny of the behemoths. Consider each of you what your role shall be in the coming war. Go now, and think on this. Dismissed. Dennett, come see me later, in private. A glorious world of pain! Feeble humans, crushed like the insects that they are! My lovely pets seem to be enjoying themselves. What useless relic shall I have them destroy next? Ah, that castle! All right, Bane! Do your worst! <laughs> Shattered to its very foundations! Come on, you little shits! Are none of you man enough to stand up to me? Then put your heads between your legs while I cut you down! One by one! Aha! Finally, someone steps up. You numbnuts better not waste my time. A dream? Oh. Hey, kid. You saw that, huh? It's because we're joined. Like I said, that friggin' sucks! Listen, next time, don't look. <laughs> 